So 67% of journalists surveyed say the media do a solid job of covering the most important stories of the day. But only 41% of the American public feel the same way. While 65% of journalists say news organizations do a very or somewhat good job reporting the news accurately, only 35% of the public agrees, while 43% of US adults say journalists do a bad job at this. And when asked if journalists do a good job of serving as a watchdog over elected leaders, 52% of journalists said yes, but only 29% of the public agreed. And while 46% of journalists say that they give voice to the underrepresented, only 24% of the public think that think that's true. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I, I want to talk a little bit about why I think that is, right? So it my theory is what we're kind of experiencing in government is also taking place in the media. So when it comes to providing a voice to the underrepresented, right? I think what the media tends to think of is, hey, we're hiring more diverse staff and we're talking to a Wall Street person. But the Wall Street person we're talking to is a black guy instead of a white guy. We're doing so good. We're representing the underrepresented. But that No, you should definitely provide a voice to people of all different backgrounds, nationalities, races. I'm obviously in favor of that, but it's not, it doesn't stop there. That's not the end all be all, obviously. So are they representing the working class in America? And if you look at corporate media, which usually falls under an umbrella of like this major conglomerate, this major corporate conglomerate. No, they don't do a good job at representing the underrepresented. The underrepresented in corporate media are working people, ordinary working people. So while nearly half of journalists, 46% say they feel extremely or very connected with their audience. Ugh, this is sad, only about a quarter of the public, 26% feels that connection with their main news organizations. Which also makes a lot of sense. If you look at news consumption trends, like where people get the news, they still overwhelmingly get most of their news, not even online, but from local news. And I don't know when the last time was where you watch local news, but I don't feel connected to what what they're up to. I mean, local news people got on my case because I was like, why are we still doing the five day forecast? Like, just look it up on my phone. They didn't like that, they didn't like that. Okay, got it, okay? Whether people should still have their jobs, I think there are weather reports that are worthy of coverage. However, I just don't think that what we see, whether it's in national network news or cable news or local news, either really resonates with people. And I don't think people feel a connection with these various news shows. Now, journalists do seem to understand though that the public doesn't really trust them or view them favorably. When asked what one word, when asked what one word they think the public would use to describe the news industry, journalists overwhelmingly give negative responses with many predicting that the public would describe the news media as inaccurate untrustworthy, biased, or partisan. Just 14%, a measly 14% of journalists surveyed say they think the US public has a great deal or fair amount of trust in the information it gets from news organizations these days. Most believe that Americans as a whole have some trust, 44%, or little to no trust, 42%. And look, they're pretty spot on. I mean, we see this play out in the way ordinary people talk about the news, critique the news. When a similar question was posed to a to the general public, if you look at this graph, only 29% of US adults say that they have at least a fair amount of trust in news outlets, while 27% say they have some trust and a whopping 44% say little to none.